Okay. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Will's Workshop. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of the rocket stove that I built. In the first video, I said that it was going to be a do-it-yourself video on how to build one of these things. So I figure now, since I didn't do it in the first video, I'll explain how I actually made this thing. I had a bunch of these steel cutoffs lying around from a job site I worked a long time ago, and I had always been waiting for something to do with them, and I stumbled across this rocket stove idea online and figured with what I had, I had enough to sort of prototype something. And the design, as you can see, is pretty basic. The chimney here, as well as the actual fire chamber, combustion chamber, whatever you want to call it, those are the same length, uh, roughly 12 inches or so. Uh, just cut them with an angle grinder. And then for the angled section, this angled piece ends right at the top weld here and actually the bottom of it extends down so that you can have more uh, oxygen feeding into the side of it. And on top I added a little plate holder to be able to put pans and whatnot on there. And as you can see the fire is running really well now that I added a door. And the door was pretty easy to make. It's just a bit of four inch wide, quarter inch thick steel plate. And I added a little latch, plus on the inside, some bronze rope. This is specially for sealing fire pits and, uh, excuse me, stoves. You can see the condensation from the wood. This is actually uh, water and other residue from the wood. Um, what else did I do this stove? A little hinge, nothing too crazy, a couple of feet, and you're off to the races. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again next time.